Hi guys, we're, I'm going to just show you the teaser for the new book that we got recently, which was this. Um, supposedly, from the resources I got from the multiple uh, social media accounts they have, we think we know the time that I release it, but the thing is, someone messed up on the time or something, because it says September the 19th. We think they mean August the 19th, so it might be the 19th we're going to get this book. And then the name is kind of, I don't like the name, but if it is the name, according to the social media accounts I read, it's called the Wall Whale Fall Plan, which I'm sorry, but that name doesn't sound good. So let's just move on to the storybook celebration. This image you're seeing right now is part of AJ. And AJ is coming back. So now you know. Uh, I'll tell you when. So these times and times can change anytime. So I'll update you on stuff in game. Because I usually announce stuff in game. So let's continue to the first week so for the 18th we have the flower wall we'll get some blueprints this might be the uh set this is definitely the set we're gonna get for the blueprints so if we're gonna get blueprints you're gonna have to craft them so that's good and that's pretty much it it's a small event story it shouldn't take that long We're having the seven day letter thing again for logging in for the first, third, and fifth day we'll get some ca shiny cards. On the seventh day we're going to get the peach marshmallow background which is this. Which means we got another background which is good. This is at the 18th. Make sure you log in seven days straight. If you miss a day or two, make sure you make up as soon as possible because uh, you only have seven days. So you have until the 31st. So I think the only amount of days you can miss is a roughly. If you for some reason can't log in every single day, make sure you try to log in within the six day time frame before this event ends because if you don't do that within that small six day time frame for the last login to make it seven days you're not gonna get the background you have to log in seven days straight you also have to be a level 12 player to get this also so make sure you're a level 12 player and so on and so forth because number 12 is the number for activating the whole game where events are, where you can um, join events. The next uh, event is called Peak Perk Galore, which starts on the 18th. Uh, I think it's a one-time thing, but we get to pick a reward of our choice, so... We're not sure what the rewards are. It might be a couple of diamonds, two tickets. So we're going to have to f wait until that day happens. I'll show you what it's going to be. We're having a double encounters again, which is good. But I suggest you don't spend too much stam. If you spend too much stam, you might not have enough for ETP. We'll talk about ETP if it ever comes again, but just be careful. Monitor and mon um monitor and uh not monitored modern. I forgot the word. Just uh. Ration your stam if you're going to do the stuff. So just ration your stam. Now we're going to go to the time shop stuff. From the 15th to the 21st, it's Kitty Idol.
from the 22nd to the 28th. It's the birthday blessing. From the 29th to the 4th, it's Supreme Oracle. Then we got a feat a background right here which starts at the 15th to the 31st so it'll be in the time shop for the beginning of the 15th. So this is the background image. It makes sense because we're having a futuristic uh we're having uh, another blind box. This one's called the Goddess of War. Uh since it's the goddess of war and this event starts on the 16th. Ari Stroll, this is just a diamond. If you spend diamonds, you, uh, which we're gonna definitely spend diamonds because of the, uh, diamond packs for the AJ and blind box. But that's very good. This starts on the 18th, until uh, the 28th, which is a very small 10 day gap of this. Um, and for this, you also get 11 hours. Every 11 hours, there's a couple of diamonds. So, try not to spend that much diamonds, but if you do, you still get, like, a small bonuses for doing so from here. Each goal has a certain amount of things they'll give you. It's, it's always the same amount. Um... We're getting a third Jerry, Crazy Jerry again. This starts at the 21st and then ends on the 2nd of September. Um, it will not let you get the new book stuff again, I should remind you. So I'm pretty sure the last three new books we're not going to be able to spin for. So you won't get the future books. The 19th. Um, you won't be able to get the perfect storm items either. And what was the other book? The Golden Age book. Items, you can't get that one. I'm pretty sure they're finally gonna let us get the gourmet journey stuff from in Crazy Jerry now. I think they pretty much don't let us get the last three book stuff into Crazy Jerry. So, those three books we won't be able to spin for. Now, this is the AJ. AJ, I will explain later when it comes. It's just spin the wheel of Jerry and we get a certain amount of stuff. We get two spins per day. And then there's diamond packs, which I'll show you how much they cost and stuff, and if they're worth it or not. I say they're definitely worth it, but they do cost a certain amount of diamonds, and I'll get into more depth later with those when this event comes. So it'll be the 8th, 22, so the 22nd of August, this is going to start. We are seeing a little bit of the set in the beginning and all I'm gonna say is good luck spinning and hopefully you don't get cat food or double cat food because that's the worst one to get and the final one which is the 22nd also like AJ which is the VIP XP you have to buy stuff with a certain amount of XP points to upgrade the tier list it's the set looks like a marching band set i'm just gonna say that it reminds me of a marching set i do like the monocle thing they have right there so I, i'm gonna hope we get that as the freebie item but i highly doubt it we might end up getting hair socks or shoes again 
or necklaces or earrings. But I do like how it looks. It reminds me of a flower just by looking at this image. But it looks like a marching band suit. Uh, she also has a sword which looks pretty cool. It's like a type of sword you would want for your doll to have. Okay, and for the final uh, uh, news is um, they're having the Discord follow event today, starting today. Um, that's the invite. I'll put the invite server link in the bottom. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to know what the Discord follow event is, it's right here. It's in server events located... Let me show you. Right here. It should be blue. This one. If you just join Discord, just go there. And put your ID. Your uh, IGG ID. That's all you have to do. That's That's pretty much it. I'll, oh, if someone's typing, I'll show you right now. If you, if you don't know where your ID is, I'll show you right now. Okay, if you don't know where your ID is, go here. Quickly go over here to click your icon. Your ID will be right here. Just, just click this. Right here, it'll copy it. Let's copy it. Go back to Discord. And then you just paste your ID number here and then enter it. It I don't know how to highlight mine. I just put it in like that. It still counts, I believe. I don't know why people are mentioning superpowers here. I think they got the events areas mixed up. So that's about it. Uh, about the upcoming events. Along with a little bit of the new story. And the Discord follow event. So thank you for watching.